Well, hello, it's me, Terry Cole here, and I'm going to be answering a question that came in. Is it necessary to convince another person of the way that we feel to validate our own feelings was the question. Like, if I know my feelings are valid, do I have to talk to someone else or convince them? And I basically said, listen, it's not necessary to... Um, talk to the other person in order to validate your own experience, right? Because you know your experience is real, hopefully, and that your feelings are real. But why do we express those things? Part of it is because we want to be succinctly and accurately known and seen in our lives. And when we're talking about good boundaries, um, th basically this question turns into... Um, if I know the person won't do the thing, whatever, whatever the thing is, whatever your simple request may be, or you may be setting a limit with a boundary, if I know that they're going to resist it or they're not going to do it, should I still make the request? Should I still express how I feel? And the answer is yes, because your healing comes from having the courage to stand up for yourself as opposed to just accepting because when we accept, well, that's not their thing, they're not going to want to do that thing, what we're denying ourselves and the other person is deeper knowledge about us, about what we want, about the way that we feel. So it really is important to know how you feel and express how you feel. And I think it's a mindset shift. Going back to the original question, it isn't to convince or validate your feelings. It's to share your feelings, your preferences, your thoughts. That's really what we're looking at. And I think that this leads us to an important distinction that we can make between giving context and convincing. Context versus convincing. So what are the differences? If we um, are drawing a boundary, setting a limit, right? We're, we're saying no to a friend who wants us to do something or to go somewhere. If we feel like we need to convince them, we say, I'm just exhausted, it's been a crazy week. Now, that could be context too, because maybe it's true. Um, but convincing is like, we want, we want them to agree that us not doing that thing is okay with them. And here's the thing with drawing boundaries and being honest and being straightforward is that people are not going to always agree with or, or like how we are asserting ourselves or expressing ourselves if it isn't what they want us to do. Part of having good boundaries and being healthy is that we have to realize sometimes people won't, won't like what we do, but we can still love them and they can still love us. A lot of times I get questions where people come in and say, I wanted to, I don't want to have conflict. I'm starting to draw boundaries and now there's conflict. And I'm like, there's no way to avoid that. When you change the dance that you do in your relationships, people notice a lot of times they won't like it because they probably liked the old dance that you were doing. So the, the real power is shifting your mindset to it's okay if they don't like it. And as long as I'm not being disrespectful or I'm not needing them to approve of me while I'm doing this, this is what negotiating in relationships is. So convincing is trying to get them to agree that it's okay for you to do whatever it is you're doing or draw that boundary. Context is a way that we deepen our intimacy in our relationships. So what is context? It's I may explain to Vic or one of my kids or one of my daughters-in-law why I don't want to do something not because I want them to approve of me necessarily but because I want them to understand me I want them to know where I'm coming from um, I don't want them to be offended or their feelings to be hurt sure and maybe they will be offended and perhaps their feelings will be hurt and that will have to be okay because most of our relationships are not that fragile you know it's like we we can um, we're, we're more flexible than we think and it's just the fear in us and there's this the codependency a lot of times or fear of um, 
confrontation or rejection or the other person becoming angry really create such a disconnect for us in telling our truth about how we feel about something. So I wanted to answer that question. I want to say thank you for sending in that question about self-validation and do I need them to validate me because that's not what it's about, which led us to the difference between context and convincing when we're communicating, when we're making a simple request, when we're drawing boundaries. And it's so super important that you guys know that. I hope that this created an aha moment for you and that you like this. Let's say to be continued. If you do like this, share it with other people. I'm going to be doing a bunch of these shorter videos, just answering questions. They'll be coming out once a week on Thursdays. So I hope you enjoyed it. And as always, take care of you.